Unresolved problem segment tonight. What to do about Iran? Looks like Israel will not take any military action until after the presidential election, but it's clear the Israelis are not going to allow Iran to develop a nuclear weapon and will use military force against the Iranians if necessary. Meantime, sanctions against Iran are hurting that country deeply as its currency is falling apart. Actor Ben Affleck has directed a new film about Iran, and I spoke with him yesterday. So you make a movie about a time in history that a lot of people forget, 1979. Iran has American hostages, Indeed. all right? It's really hurting the Carter administration. It's one of the reasons he lost to Ronald Reagan. But why do you, a guy who wasn't even conscious at that time, why do you <laughs> want to make a movie like this? You know, it was just a great story. I mean, for one thing, it's a thriller. It's actually a comedy with the Hollywood satire. It's a complicated CIA movie. It's a political movie. And it's all true. All right. Know? So you want you wanted to make an entertainment though about a serious subject, rescuing Americans from a dictatorship, Iran. I did, and and the, the serious aspect of it was that this is really a tribute to the folks in our clandestine services and our diplomats in the foreign service who are risking their lives over there. Tragic. We've seen uh, examples of that very recently, and and folks who are you know, what they give up. To serve us and to serve our country. This is a Valentine from Ben Affleck to the intelligence community. And the, the same people who waterboarded, the same people who renditioned. <laughs> so, what are your liberal friends going to say to you? I, I, I don't worry too much about what my liberal friends are going to say. You know, to me, I made a movie that my my friends who are Democrats and my friends who are Republicans can both watch. Right. That's not a political. So movie. You, you didn't, in the back of your mind, you didn't say, "Look, I'm glorifying some people who maybe did bad things in the name of the country Listen, to protect I, us." I've been to the CIA. I met uh, 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 General David Petraeus. These are extraordinary, honorable people at the CIA. Make no mistake about All it. All right, that's good to hear. All right, now, Iran again influence in presidential election because of the nuke thing. Well, I'm worried about it in the sense that everyone is obviously a trouble spot. This is the same regime that is in my movie in 1979 with Khomeini. Now there's Khamenei. It's the same, same Stalinist, mentality. Islamist right. regime. Right. And we're still dealing with them. And right. if they got a bomb, I think everybody thinks that would be trouble. And I'm just an amateur pundit, but my feeling about it is, you know, one one has to also be uh, uh, judicious. Frankly, I don't think there's a lot of but what daylight is between... But what does judicious mean? I mean, look, here's the choice. You strangle them with sanctions, which mm -hmm. seems to which be working doing, right yeah. now, mm -hmm. all right, because the real is collapsing their, their currency. They're in bad trouble. Or you give Netanyahu the okay to go in if it reaches a certain point and whack them. Uh, my understanding is that Netanyahu is not, or Israel is not entirely capable of whacking them to the extent they to which hurt. they need to be whacked. And I wouldn't outsource U.S. foreign policy to any other government. I would, uh, I would be judicious in the sense that a high percentage of Americans don't want to see another war, and one I think ought to be quite careful before one engages in war. However, we have to have a line beyond which we say this is not acceptable in Iran. So, All it's right. a so thing. if that line were crossed by Iran and they were very close, you wouldn't oppose military action to stop. The their nuclear program. I wouldn't oppose military action, but it, 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 the question is where the line is. Yeah, and I so certainly wouldn't make the line question. public, and I wouldn't be backed into the line. All right, now, you're a Democrat, big Obama supporter this time around? I uh, like Obama. On the major issues, I think Obama's done a good job. I'm going to vote for him. If you had to point to one thing about President Obama that he's accomplished that has impressed you, what would it be? Well, I mean, accomplished Just makes one. it sound tricky because he's advocated and he's tried to do a number of things and he's been stymied. His major policy goal of uh, changing the tax structure so that the wealthy pay their fair share, to me, is, is, is mm, of towering importance. Do you I think believe in income redistribution? Was, do you believe, believe well, in income? Anytime you change the tax code, it doesn't necessarily have to be income no, no, redistribution. No, no, but you mean, taking from guys like you and Eugene me. Debs and socialism. I mean, that, that's not what I'm talking no, about. No, I'm no. talking about changing the, the tax code a little bit. But there is a philosophy among liberal Americans, and you and I are fat cats. We're one percenters. Indeed. All right. So, uh, you know, the philosophy is, well, well Affleck and O'Reilly, they can pony up 40, 45 percent of what they got, and we'll spread it around. I thought we were just going to return to the pre-Bush tax cut numbers. But yes, I agree. We, you and I, I don't know, you know, what your, what your nut looks like, but I, uh, I don't spend so much that I can't afford to pay a little bit more in taxes. And I think that's important. I think the stimulus was a good thing by and large. I think it was absolutely necessary. I think it saved us from getting deeper into a recession. But I'm not here to give you Obama a top no, no, no. You know? Listen, we're interested in you and what you think. Last question. If the president loses to Mitt Romney, because you're a Massachusetts guy yes, and he was the governor of the Bay State. Indeed. Um, are you I gonna... know Mitt Romney. I met him. Very pleasant guy. Very nice guy. So you're not going to move out of the 
country or something. You'd be all right. You would be okay. I hope not. Do all I right. have to, do Democrats right? have to leave the country? I don't. I don't think there's. I think uh, 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 President Obama's in good shape. I would. Uh, I would put money on uh, on President. You put Obama. money. How much money you want to uh, put on it? Because I got Dick Morris back here. I, not Mitt Romney <laughs> money. I can't mention ten thousand dollars. All right. The movie is Argo. Uh, ben Affleck. We appreciate it. And Argo has gotten great reviews. It opens on Friday. When we come right back, Dennis.